Oh, good morning. You're with me. And I'm right along. It's Friday. Friday morning. We go to the flower garden, bakery and coffee shop with a few of my radio buddies and talk ham radio things. The FGART, Flower Garden Amateur Radio Club. Every Friday, about 7 a.m., we meet. So it's usually uh, some people bring some things, some show and tells. I think last week we uh, had a couple laptops and we were doing Hellschreiber just through the speakers and microphones to each other. Um, a couple of guys bring um, various keys and bugs and such and old antique radio equipment. So, give you a quick tour here of the mobile. Okay, in the mobile here I have a Kenwood D700, uh, which I have using with APRS. I have a GPS up on the dashboard here. And on the other side I'm monitoring the local 450 repeater, AB6LI on 442.15. And below here is a uh, Elenco DR235 220 meter radio, also listening to uh, one of John's repeaters, AB6LI on 220. Let's get on our way and yell on the radio and see what's going on today in town. And off we go. So we're headed up the highway. Exposure's going to be kind of poor in the car here. Too much backlight, but oh well. Here we yell on the radio here. We yell on the 450 radio. See if anybody's around. k 7 gne morning. Grass Valley is uh, Northern California, up, up near Sacramento, and if you've been, probably most people haven't been paying attention to this, but Beale Air Force Base north of Sacramento and a Air Force Base out on Massachusetts somewhere uh, have these uh, pave paw radars. They operate in the amateur band, which we are the secondary operators, and which means the uh, UHF repeater now only has five watts of output. It's a little noisier in the fringe here. Anybody around? K7 AG. K7 AG, good morning. A, B, 6, L, I. K7 TP, Grover, he's usually on by now. Hello, Grover. K7 TP, K7 AG. figures the day I put the video in the car nobody around Murphy Murphy's my co-pilot hello radio k 7 nobody on the flipping radio this morning Why? radio deprived. Try 220. V7 AGE 220. Good morning Randy. N6 VGP. Good morning Tony. Randy. K7 AG. Yeah, I've been trying to scare up some people, but I guess I'm must be too early today. Oh, well, I kind of feel that way most days. I uh, I very rarely hear, any, hear anybody on before uh, seven o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, I'm pulling into the place here, so let me go in and reserve. Get on the big table here. Okay, sir, enjoy your day. K7 AGE N6 VGP Highway 49 at Combi. Okay, Tony, have a good day. K7 AGE, clear. So Grover's here. He's got his camper van. Let's go see what's happening. Yeah, this is the flower garden. 
That's his grower. Which, which direction is the signal going? This is today's show and tell. <laughs> that's, for so, your, that's for your desk. I see. Very nice. <laughs> that's what is that, Paul? Well, this is a mouse with a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch jack on it, so you can plug in your Vibraplex bug. Why would you want to do that? Well, because clicking on this thing right here is not the same. Why would you want to do that to begin with? <laughs> Which way click, click on your mouse, huh? <laughs> well, yes, this is for this Morse mail program that uh, and Grover has infected our computers with. <laughs> <laughs> It's your fault. It's my fault, and I am proud of it. Good morning. How are you? Jeffrey Brain today. I brought the same one. No, you got the same one. No, I brought my 817. Why did Why? I bring my 817? Why did you bring your 817? Because there's a satellite pass this morning. Wow. And we're going to make an well, attempt to access AO51 with our 817s and arrow handheld dual band Yagi. Wow. Cool. We'll it's see if that cool. works. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what we were doing. With that. We had the same thing. We were doing handhelds. I was in Grass Valley and he was down in South County. We were trying to catch the satellites that came over. And we were just far enough apart. It was all park over there. It was unbelievable. We were having fun with it. I could hear him twice, I think, and he heard me once or twice. Yeah. And rotating the, the uh, Yagi. Weird people. What part of the shopping cart is that? Yeah. This is the uh, expensive part of the shopping cart. Mm. <laughs> this is an aero antenna, dual band. Yes, it Three is. elements on two, and what, about five, six on on 450. With a duplexer and a handle, so you can receive and transmit simultaneously. Duplexer in handle. If not at the same time. Here's Jeffrey's, uh, he has one as well. Oh, he's got to put it, some assembly required this morning. Yeah. yeah. Got to put the two meter elements on. I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. Probably not. So what do we have here? This is your palm. This is a, no, this is my palm. Oh, oh, oh. This is my palm here. <laughs> this is my yep. palm pilot here. Did I get you in the eye? I tried. No, I, would you like me to hold one or the other? I'm just trying to get to the point where I can see it in the dark here. Probably you won't be able to get it, Randy. It's good at no. screening. 823, it comes up in the north, passes overhead at 830, and gets out of sight. Loss of signal at 837. So this is the so. satellite tracking software on the Palm. Which program is it? Pocket Sat. Pocket Sat, okay. Programming up the radio here. 140. If I get on the right frequencies. Oh, I need to toggle off the name then. It's in the menu A, I think. It says tag. And of course, it helps to know your radio when you start doing <laughs> something. <laughs> satellite will be gone, but is it, Paul? The shiny spot up in the sky, isn't it? Where is it? We can get it's up there? Okay. It's, it's the splits are programmed in. So it's uplink on TX and it's downlink on RX. Oh, it's got all the splits for the cross-banding programmed in? Yeah. Including Doppler? It's got the cross-banding programmed in? Yeah. Including Doppler? Got them in there four or five times. It's good. Good planning. Yep, it's in five. It's five uh, acquisitions. The first, and then mid, and then central, and then mid, on the, and then loss of. So east coast, mountain time. Because <laughs> we have construction going next door, which makes a lot of racket. I'm on the first ones as well. <laughs> so we're going to go through all of this so we can talk across the parking lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, basically a tin oh, can telephone. Are you transmitting or not, young man? Hey. Transmit. Three minutes to AOS. Come on, we've only got about three minutes. <laughs> Transmitting. <laughs> He's blowing. <laughs> Don't point that at me. Paul is going to be the antenna operator. Don't point Paul, that at me. It starts it's loaded. Paul, that, that'll it starts work. that way. <laughs> Have you had all, all the that way. you want to have? <laughs>
Uh, you know what? I loaded in your fancy set of programs, and the, the RX is on the front, and the TX is on the back. So I need two antennas. I'm screwed. <laughs> We're divining for satellites. Divining for satellites, <laughs> yes. <laughs> divining. And we have problems with radios and memory programming and front and rear antenna jacks and, <laughs> you know, typical demo stuff. We're waiting for AOS. Somewhere up there is a satellite. Are you sure of the direction here? Well, nobody brought a compass. Nobody brought a compass. Yeah. Grover's doing some antenna phasing, left, right, yeah, circular is... polarization. Still waiting. I like it so far, guys. Oh, Terrific. Good. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> this will be a very popular video, Hal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here! So, so when oh. the, what, again, when do, the, when do the snipes actually come along? <laughs> the what? The snipes. The snipes. The snipes. Yeah. Who, Wesley and his family? Or what are you talking about? No, they may be in the bush behind you. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's turn this into a snipe hunt. This is silly. <laughs> I don't hear it. So is your palm set for daylight savings time? <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible. That'd be embarrassing. Yes. It could have been last hour or next hour. No, I'd be hearing the satellite. I have the receiver channels here, but I'm not hearing a thing. Okay, well that was fun. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. We'll try this another time with good data. Yeah, we'll try again. <laughs> and we'll practice before the next time, huh? Yeah, I gotta read this back in. Yeah, you gotta reload your radio. Hey, you know what, guys? Let's have a meeting next week. <laughs> Piece of crap. It's for sale, cheap. One cheap. arrow antenna. Call me. K7TP <laughs> no, at K7TP.com. Cheap. Whole satellite setup. <laughs> These things work great when you know when the satellite's coming. <laughs> oh, is that the problem? Oh, whoa. Huh? <laughs> is the clock right in his palm? <laughs> Universal and daylight savings time. It, uh, oh, there's your problem right there, yeah. The elements are how old? <laughs> Does that matter? Brian got his data when that virus checker was on, you know? Yeah. He just got the elements last summer. Yeah. Hey, what's the date today? <laughs> uh, nice. Friday. Oh, uh, really? I had the 10th. Yeah. 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 It's 8 30. It should have been here by now, kids. It should be at the peak, isn't it? Yeah, it's the peak. Don't look straight up. <laughs> there it is. Hopefully, there's a TX antenna setting and an RX antenna setting. Actually, on a, on, a, on a pass like this with a little rubber ducky antenna, you know, a gain antenna, you can actually hear the thing. But we never what, tried what that, did we? If nobody's transmitting. Like if a tree falls in the forest? <laughs> what? If a tree falls in the forest? Yeah. Yep. Oh. If it's here. So there are other crazy <laughs> people standing in parking lots waving antennas around here. No. No, there's people like <laughs> Randy who can sit at his desk at home and what? Do you still have your egg heaters and all that stuff? Yeah. All right, my 44 elements on two meters? That. That, yeah. Yeah. Not Nani. I downloaded the cups yesterday too, so they should have been good. Oh well. Well, nothing. Like I said, cheap. cheap. So where are you getting the flyby information? It comes from NASA. Is there a website? Yeah. Thing? Yeah, and you just load them in. There's. I've, you can go back to drilling holes in mice. Yeah, hang on, I can do that part. Yeah. This is Grover at the fun barrier. What's that? This is Grover at the fun barrier. Yeah, my, my fun meter just went down a bit. <laughs> On. We'll try again. Yeah, let's try again. We'll get good data and we'll get Jeffrey to program his radio properly. We'll find a quiet place so we can hear, too. Yeah, really. What? Leave, what? <laughs> Did you say that again? <laughs> the guy with his blower over there.
Right? This is actually a pretty good. This is a great location. Yeah. Yeah. Satellite front of the I can't yeah, see me back in a car. Well, that was a big, outstanding failure. But lots of fun. That's how you learn. Everything doesn't work crap properly the first time, so we shall try again. That was fun. See you later. K7AG.